let's now look at rule 11 u a 1 right so we just mentioned uh, that uh, rule 11 u a has got sub rule 1 and sub rule 2 let us begin our discussion with the sub rule 1 that is rule 11 u a sub rule 1 so rule 11 u a sub rule 1 uh, is about determination of fair market value of number one jewelry number two archaeological collection drawings paintings sculptures or any art of work of art work of art so uh, the rule 11 ua uh, is about uh, jewelry uh, archaeological collections uh, drawings paintings sculptures or any other work of art and that is what is the coverage and also valuation of shares and securities shares and securities so basically this is what is the coverage under rule 11 ua1 under U, uh, rule 11 ua1 okay now uh, let's move further so under rule 11 ua1 and sub sub rule small a uh, is about determination of fair market value of jewelry of course there is no doubt about of the fact that as far as we are concerned uh, we are uh, getting registered uh, or we are aspiring to be a value registered valuer as per the uh, as for the requirements of land and building plant and machinery and also for the, for the financial uh, assets and securities uh, so uh, rule 11 ua is about how to determine fair market value in case of jewelry and how to determine the fair market value in case of jewelry the methodology prescribed under rule 11 ua1 is price which it would fetch if sold in the open market on the valuation date so if you want to do jewelry ka valuation karna hai, as per rule 11 ua1 how will you do the valuation of jewelry as per rule 11 ua1 and that is by finding out ki agar valuation date ko is as is jewelry ko market mein becha jata tha to fir ye kitna price fetch karti thi and that would be the value of the jewelry uh, who can do the valuation uh, when i was going through the provision uh, what i understand is uh, uh, when you are uh, doing the, when you want to do the valuation of uh, uh, jewelry uh, the methodology is ki agar aap usko market mein bechenge to aapko kitni uh, price milegi kitni kimat milegi uh, that is how you determine the valuation so which means if you are uh, doing valuation of a jewelry item what you need to do is uh, you need to do the documentation and what documentation documentation in confirmation of the fact that on that particular day on the valuation date if this asset asset would have, if this jewelry would have been sold it would have been sold at what price so uh, you will perhaps need to pick up the uh, the gold rate of that day uh, have that document uh, which confirms the price of the gold for that day on your record uh, to substantiate uh, in case if the need arises for you to substantiate and that is your rule 11 u a 1 small a and that is about valuation of jewelry